and welcome back to the video series on the MXFE Evaluation Platform. My name is Wes Harris, and I'm an Application Engineer at Analog Devices. This video will showcase running the AD9082 with APIs provided by ADI. Download the APIs from the Analog Devices website. These APIs can be obtained on the AD9082 part page. To interface with the MXFE using the APIs, an SSH client tool is required. After installing the APIs in each device folder, you will find a doc folder that holds all API documentation and an SRC folder that holds the API's main file structure. Ensure that the MXFE evaluation platform has been connected via either ACE or DPG Lite. Please see the first video in this series if you need more details on connecting. Upon opening your SSH client, you will need to establish a connection with the MicroZ. Here we select Session, select SSH, and enter the host address and username. By default, the host is assigned to 192.168.0.10 and the username is root. You will then be prompted to enter a password, which is analog by default. On the left side of the screen, you can view the root file structure of the Linux OS stored on the HSX SD card provided by ADI. Create a folder here to store the SRC folders for each device API you want to use. In this program, drag and drop can be used to copy over the SRC folders. We will now demonstrate how to apply a predefined use case, generate a tone, and capture the resulting waveform using our example application code and embedded extras tool that are provided within the API package. From your SRC folder, navigate down to the app underscore ADS9 folder using the command cd space ad9082 underscore app forward slash app underscore ads9. In this folder, you will find uc underscore settings.c that lists all predefined use cases that ADI has provided. Each use case is assigned a number that we will use to call them. To view the parameters of the use cases, open the uc underscore settings.c file. Enter make space clean space all to build the files we will be calling to run a use case. After waiting for the file to compile, a new debug folder will be created that we will call with the command period forward slash debug forward slash ad9082 underscore app space 25 space 1, where 25 refers to the use case and 1 confirms the onboard HMC7044 is being used for clocking. For more info on this function, see the API specification document in the doc folder and search use cases. After applying, you will see the confirmation that the JSD links are established. With use case applied, we must now connect the output of DAC0 to ADC1 before we use the extra files to generate and capture a tone. From the app underscore ADS9 folder, enter cd space period period forward slash period period to navigate back to the SRC folder and cd space ad9082 underscore xtra forward slash app underscore ads9 to navigate to the extras application folder. Enter make space clean space all to build the files we will need to call the extra functions. After waiting for the process to complete, enter period forward slash debug forward slash ad9082 underscore xtra to list all functions available in the extras API. For more information, see the MXFE eval app extras document in the doc folder. To generate a tone, enter period forward slash debug forward slash ad9082 underscore xtra space tx space dash dash stone space 1474.56 space 100 space 8192 space dash 6 space 16, where 1474.56 megasamples per second is your data rate, 100 megahertz is your tone frequency, 8192 is the number of samples per period, negative 6 dB is your back off, and 16 is your DAC resolution. With a generated tone being transmitted from the DAC and received by the ADC, we can capture the tone by entering period forward slash debug forward slash AD9082 underscore XTRA space RX space dash dash cap space test space 8192. 
where test is your file name and 8192 is the number of samples per period. If you navigate to the extras app underscore ADS9 folder in the file structure to the left, you will now see test underscore zero through test underscore three files, where zero one are an IQ pair and two three are an IQ pair. Because we only ran a physical connection from DAC zero to ADC one, we will only see data on the two three IQ pair. Here is an example of an FFT run on the two three IQ pair through ADI's program Visual Analog. Another option is to use the provided MATLAB code in the MXFE eval apps document in the doc folder to view the results. This has been an overview of using ADI's provided API use cases and extras with the MXFE evaluation platform. For more information, please visit the MXFE product page and use the API documentation provided. Our final video in this series will cover creating a custom use case in the API code. Thanks for watching.